Okay, and um, won't be here long this evening. And I know I said that yesterday, but really, I've got so much work to catch up on. Um, long day in the office, I'm not complaining, but it does mean that I have to catch up on what I wasn't able to get completed. So, although yesterday I said the same thing, well, more so about the whole, um, won't be on long, but tonight, literally, I'm just going to run this, <clears throat> how long have we got? 20 minutes, just to see how I can compare, um, stream stability, um, all of the little tweaks to the overlay, so now moved the um, G meter and pedals further over to the left. I didn't realize that they were um, over the standings yesterday. So also just increased slightly the size of the computer processor usage graph at the bottom. Um, moved also the fuel remaining water temps, oil temps, into the space vacated by um, me truncating the i-speed display so that what you get now is just the splits and the delta, both time and speed. Um, moved the webcam up. Um, you'll also see across the top um, Save some of the space on the overlay by putting the Blue Flag Racing and Community Royal Frenton um, sponsor for last season um, in the one spot, which freed up the space, wrong side, it's freed up the space over here for increasing the size of the Twitch chat. Um, don't want it to be too cluttered, so hopefully it looks a bit cleaner. And then below the heart rate monitor, um, which finally got working via the iPhone yesterday. So, yep, just going to run some 20, well, some laps in the 20 minutes just to see how running at this time, so it's 7 p.m. Um, GMT, compares to running later last night because a few things happened. First of all, um, I didn't notice because obviously I was on track but when um, I didn't notice when the airplay connection to the iPad dropped so the heart rate monitor went blank um, so hopefully with it running from the phone and the phone's plugged into the power and the auto lock feature turned off it won't do that Excuse me, sorry. Also, didn't notice until watching the replay back on YouTube, the stream back on YouTube even, that the stream started buffering. Well, not buffering, stuttering towards the end. So yeah, just going to run the 20 minutes. So I can do a back-to-back -back comparison. What we'll say also yesterday was I started to really feel more comfortable around <laughs> yeah started to feel more comfortable getting the car around even the circuit seems to, seemed to really suit the rough and it's rough from now on when I say don't care about anyone else because my Dutch teammate says it's rough. And if he doesn't know how to pronounce it, no one will. Still don't know what I think about racing here this week. 
can I catch this? No. Um, it's one of those tracks that will think it's brilliant to run laps by yourself. Once you're comfortable and hooked up, it's just torturous to race. But considering I'm a V8 driver normally, and we run some seriously skinny tracks, I should be used to it. So I think the secret here for me is going to be just finding a nice rhythm, getting comfortable, and finding a, a, a space on on the track with regard to track position. That means I'm not ahead of somebody who's monumentally f more confident and faster in race conditions, who gets frustrated that they can't get past. Okay, let the tires warm up a little bit, Mark. moments where the gear shift doesn't quite come off and I end up compromised through the turn. So it's where I miss having a sequential shifter. And just haven't got around to incorporating one into my setup. See there, I was trying to avoid um, soaring at the wheel. But it meant I didn't make the micro connection. Micro connection, you know what I mean. The steering connection that caught the car as the back was sliding a little. Okay, so bought this lap and start again.
when I do finally get around to doing some proper practice here, I need to remember to save the setup with the brake bias changed. Got a little bit cocky through there. Oh, no. Juan followed me off. Okay, so getting a few graphics stutters, so that's not the stream, that's in game. So nothing torturous. Although that was torturous. As we're starting to get closer to our pit stop, start thinking about your entry to pit road. We think we might be losing a little bit there. Okay, I think we're making some progress. I'll be able to watch the stream 
once it finishes and take a look at the CPU usage histogram and figure out whether or not something needs to be off to give it some breathing space and to, or maybe I just need to go in and prioritize processor usage for both iRacing and OBS it might be something in the overlay has to be sacrificed simplify it a little bit enough time on the clock to get a warm-up lap and a flyer I'm wondering also whether it's anything to do with system having to record locally because it's not going to be the replay file size because I archived and deleted all replays I've got about a hundred gigs worth of space unless it's where the recording is being written to to make sure that it isn't writing to the solid state drive. I don't think it is. I don't think that should make any difference, although I've read something somewhere that you don't want things writing to it. Well, at least not whilst gaming, but something random I read somewhere and I don't I have no idea if I even grasped the full concept of what was being discussed so I could completely have taken the wrong end of the stick and run with it be careful going through there keep coming Take a look. I think there's really much to move from the stream that's not being used, so...
So let's jump into another session to see where the local file is being written to and see if that makes any difference. <laughs> 